welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy, Randy with an I. Um, so today we are going to be checking out an Avenged Sevenfold, and if you haven't been to my channel before and you like Avenged Sevenfold reactions, you may be here for a while. Um, I have a playlist and it is linked below, and that playlist has all of my Avenged Sevenfold reactions, including studio versions, live versions, uh, behind the scenes, making of, all kinds of stuff that I have reacted to of Avenged Sevenfold and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, but the link to that playlist is in the description below. So without further ado, here is Avenged Sevenfold, Beast and the Harlot, live, high definition. Well, technically it says HD, but high definition. a long scream, I guess that's what we would call it. Just kind of, okay. Anyway, moving on. There's not really anywhere good to pause on most songs. Uh, you just kind of have to find a spot and squeeze in there. Um, anyway, this is from 2005, is what I was told. This is a New York City performance from 2005. That's so long ago. So long ago. I like the styles. The style, their styles take me back. But, um... I'm trying to remember what the earliest thing is that I've seen from Avenged Sevenfold. It's not 2005, but not long before then. I don't know, but it sounds great. <laughs> Again, I know. Um, 
in shadows, and even in just this song. There are so many different things he's doing with his voice, and I don't even know the technical terms, but there are at least three or four distinct things or um, things that he's doing with his voice, whatever they're called, distinct ways that he is using his voice that sound completely different from one another. And I can't imagine trying to like flip-flop between all of those different styles, one on top of the other, right behind the other, right behind the other, right behind the other, all within a certain span of time. And this is just one song. Um, but I really like this song for that reason and other reasons because we can see so many different variations of Matt's voice. I, I, I will find better words. had a lip ring or not but I know he did I want to say Zachy did maybe Jimmy did um, but it was the thing to do in the early thousands I had one guy I dated had two anyway that has nothing to do with anything um anyway so that was really good the guitars weren't turned up well oops. so the song as a whole the guitars weren't super prominent like a lot of times during that song the guitars were kind of more not super subtle but they just weren't at the forefront of what I was hearing but I loved all the little things that were going on as well as the big things but I could hear some like small changes from the guitar in my headphones and I really liked it and M Shadows just blows me away it just when I think I've seen everything from M Shadows I am surprised and proven wrong you know um, but I enjoyed it. The bass I didn't tune in on as much this time, although I'm better about hearing the bass now. And this time I was distracted by everything else going on, and just overall it was a great performance, like stage presence-wise, 
and the music sounded really good so I definitely enjoyed it thank you very much for the recommendation thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time have a good one